I'm standing here at Julicious Festival with Patrick Olive of Punk Torah and of Indie Yeshiva, and he's here to talk to us about who he is, how he got involved with Punk Torah, and what he plans to do project Indie Yeshiva involved with the online scene. Jewish, the Jewish, uh, like, which is like crazy because it's the smallest world ever, and like yeah, most yeah. of us are here, right? Yeah. What I do with Punk Torah is I'm trying to reach out to Jews who feel disaffected by the perceived Jewish. I deal with people from as far-reaching corners as people who are involved in music scenes, like punks and emo kids, and metalheads, and rappers, and all that. On the complete opposite side of the spectrum, it's people like. Uh, Jewish gays and lesbians, uh, converts to Judaism, people that used to be in from communities that have left and since want to return. And then the opposite side, people that grew up in secular homes that are interested in religion but don't have any kind of resources. They're not comfortable going to the Chabad house, they're not comfortable you know, going into the Reform Temple and maybe the progressive side of the Jewish world. And also I work a lot with sort of modern Orthodox people, like trying to communicate what that is and, you know, Know, trying to just show that Judaism isn't just one narrow, payas looking thing. That even if you are a person with payas, you can skateboard, or you can be sort of an atheist skater kid, but still read the Bible. But what have some of the challenges been for you? So trying to really reach out and provide material for you. I think the the one most difficult thing is that, and I was on a panel with um, Esther Kostanowitz talking about this, that like. The biggest obstacles that I have are the ultra right wing of the Jewish world and the ultra left wing of the Jewish world fused together to become fascists. And it's this theory that like Judaism is this one thing and it starts off with it's like bris, Hebrew school, um, you know, bar mitzvah, birthright Israel trip, Hallel, get married, have kids, die. And that, that, that's like what Jewish life is. But you just described secular life. Do what? You just drive, yeah, drive yeah. secular Jewish life. Yeah, yeah, the yeshiva system you, and the, the like from community is a whole other ball game. But I'm going to leave that up to my friend Heshi Freed from Satire to talk about that. Thank you. So how have the successes of Punk Tour led you to create the, this indie yeshiva? And, okay. and can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so with Punk Torah, I discovered that, you know, Jews exist in gray areas. You've got the, you know, kind of from kid that likes to skateboard. You've got orthodox guys with tattoos. You've got um, secular Jews who still hold to certain Jewish rituals, are still keeping kosher, things like that, even if they don't believe in a personal God. So what I, what I discovered was that through that, there really needs to be an open source educational program modeled after the yeshiva system or rabbinical colleges where people can learn in a very systematic way. They can do partnered learning, which is a very important part of yeshivish education. Yeah. But at the same time, do it in an open format. So classes on things like orthodox uh, feminism, or a thing on ethical kashrut, or um, you know, pagan aspects of the Bible, things that wouldn't be taught in you know either the rabbinical colleges or in the yeshiva system, and also open to students to create their own curricula, to create their own voices. We have really cool rabbis, like hopefully this guy, who are getting on board with it. Um, I've got rabbinical students. Um, Jewish study students who are actually writing course material yeah. that other Jews will look at and study for God. How do you anticipate people to help get involved? Do you, do you need to be uh, a Jewish leader or a Jewish educator? No, you don't. And that's the important thing. Instead of looking at it from the top down, look at it from the bottom up. Because a lot of events like Jewlicious, it comes from the ground up. It comes from people, you know, given their time. If you're like a really great vegan chef, then you're working in the kitchen. Or if you're, you know, interested in programming, you're helping create events. And that's really what it takes. It takes Jews working from the ground up and also non-Jews who are interested in Judaism, either interested in converting or just want to learn more about the history and religion and culture of Jews. Just coming together and kind of uplifting us all. Yeah. What inspired you to create this? Was it just the joy of, of learning for the periphery of Jewish learning? So I think that Judaism is the most radical, philosophical, religious, cultural idea that's ever existed. It's very contrarian. That's the cool thing about Judaism, is that everything in Judaism is anti-something that existed before. And as someone who considers himself punk and into like music and free expression, a lot of what I do artistically in my music and all of that is about rebelling against something. So I see this rebellion in Judaism and this rebellion in the sort of music culture world that I kind of like to live in 
as being, you know, inclusive. And that, being able to bring that out in Judaism, so it's not like, you know, this stale thing where people perceive Judaism as like, oh, we're going to go to the Reform service and then we're going to have a falafel party. And that's our, like, edgy Jewish event, you know. We're going to have, we're going to have pizza over here and hot dogs over here. Oh shit, they might mix together and it'll just be Shalul Hashem and just this awful thing. Um, trying to get away from that and instead opening up Jewish expression to lots of different kinds of of ways of approaching both cultural Judaism and religious Judaism. That's really great. And how was your time? How have you enjoyed your time here in Jerusalem? It's been amazing. You know, I don't really know that much about like the LA Jewish scene. Sephardic chicks, oh my god, tons of them. It's been amazing, it's been amazing. But you know, like all kidding aside, Jewishness is a great, great event. All the work that Rabbi Drew has done and Yona and Rachel, it's just, it's been amazing. I've had a wonderful time. I can't wait to come back. Um, just networking with other cool people like, you know, Ellie for Hala for Hunger, hanging out with Heshi from From Satire, Esther Kostanowicz, uh, Leah Jones, all these cool people that we all kind of inhabit in our own little way, like different pockets of the new Jew sort of world. That's great. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks a lot, man.